hello welcome to the next tutorial in this tutorial we are going to learn the text blocks in the built-in so before we start please click the red subscribe button for more videos I am Krishna Raghavendran and this is tutorial 9 of MIT app inventor so let's start so we know this block here we type a string for example we will type letters and something like this next is the join block this is to join two two strings or two numbers for example if i put here two and then here if i put score and if i put like this the output will be like this so if we put this join block it will join both of this and the output will be like this so now we can have a variable called score in which we will save the score of a person in a game and then we can view it in a label so let's bring a label here called label 1 so we can do set label 1.txt to join score and it will get the score so now we know the join blocks so you, if you want more you can click this setting and here you can add how much ever strings you want here you can put whatever you want yes so the next is the length so this is to find the number of characters in a string for example if i type my name krishna the characters is going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so this block will give the output as 7 because there are 7 characters in this string so we can save it in a variable and use it in our app so this is to check if something is empty for example if let's have a variable and let's put it as empty text so if get is empty so this will return a true or false so let's put if it is equal to true then it should do something we can we can put here what it should do so now that it will be true because we have put an empty string here so this condition will be true so this is to check if something is empty so we can use this for validation for example if they are creating a new account in which they need to enter username and password for a new account then they they should not leave the username and the password blank so we can use if it is empty we need to give an alert that it should not be blank let's move on so now this is to compare texts we can also use this one instead of this one both are the same trim so now if we have something like hi i am mit app inventor so if we trim this it will remove all the space here it will and the text is going to look like this one there will be no space so we can use this block to trim something to remove spaces in a string next is the upcase block here you can make a text to uppercase for example if I put something like hello if I use this block the output is going to be like this everything will become up case so we will convert this to all the letters upcase 
and similarly for down case the output will be this one everything all the letters in down case next we have start set text piece so here we need to give a, some text for example hi mit app inventor so if i put start chat text page as hi then this will return a true because it starts with hi so we can check if a string start with hi next we have split at split text before that let's see contains text speak this is also the same as start text speak but the difference is if a text piece for example 1 2 3 4 5 it contains text let me put 3 then it will return true because there is 3 here and if we use for example start instead of this content it will return false because this doesn't start with 3 it starts with 1 so that is the difference between content and starts so next is split text stat so before this we are going to see this one so split that spaces for example if i have something like hi welcome if we split this as spaces it will generate a list the list is going to be like the first item will have hi and the second item will have welcome because we are splitting at spaces so for example if i add another word if i put a comma and put i then it will i will come here because i didn't use space we are splitting in space so it will not be i will not become an item it will be with welcome because i used comma and i didn't put any space i'm using split at spaces if you want to split at comma or any other character you can use this one if i put comma here or let me put colon then if i put like this it will generate a list of two items hi and welcome because i'm splitting like this using a colon this is to check if something is a string so in math we have is number to check if something is a number and this is to check if something is a string string means it should have text and not only numbers numbers can also be strings sometimes for example if i put like this two this is counted as a string and also a number yes so now if we put this reverse block then and now i'm going to put a i then the output is going to be i a it will reverse the whole thing i will come first and a will go second so that is why the reverse block is used so now we have seen all the text blocks so thank you for watching this video please subscribe share and like this video